Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I'm going to be running you through the best of the best, my favorite products of 2019. I know it's 2020, but you know, I like to reflect on the year past. So I'm going to get this up in the first few days of January so we can still reminisce, okay, before moving on. But I just wanted to film a video, do a full face tutorial using the products that I truly relied on in 2019. These are the products that I knew when I was in a pinch, when I didn't have a lot of time to do makeup, which as you guys know, that happens a lot to me considering I'm chronically late to everything. So these are just the products that really stood out to me. The ones that I could really lean on this year when I needed a good face beat so that I could feel better. This is the makeup look that I did today. Of course, using all of my favorite products of 2019. If you are a finder, a lot you're gonna probably be able to guess most of these. Let's play a game. Let me know how many you guessed correctly and leave it down below in the comments section because I feel like you guys know my, my favorites. I talk about them a lot. I'm kind of repetitive, but I also went through a lot of new makeup this year. So maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll surprise you in a few of these. So before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed and also click that bell button next to the subscribe button. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a video here on my channel. Leave me some love in the comments down below. Let me know what was like your highlight of 2019. I had a great time in 2019. 2019 treated me really, really well. I had fun with my YouTube channel. Um, everyone was for the most part happy and healthy. I feel like 2019, I really grew into the person that I am. I feel like my makeup skills, like I watched some of my videos from the beginning of 2019 and my makeup skills. Thank you, Jesus. My wing and my makeup is just like a whole other level. And I'm really excited to see the continued growth that I have in 2020. And I would love to see your continued growth in your makeup journey. Happy 2020. Happy New Year. I didn't even say that in the beginning of this video. Happy New Year. I hope you rung it in the right way with loved ones. And I cannot wait to see what 2020 brings us. So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my 2019 best of the best, my favorites, my companions video. Pond's Dry Skin Cream. You guys know I'm a dry skin bitch. And this is a really nice job of hydrating and making sure that my foundation stays on all day long. And I do really like to focus this on the areas of my face that are the driest. Going in with my Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. Oh my God, this took my heart in 2019. I have very dry skin around my eyes, very textured skin around my eyes. This does a beautiful job of really limiting that texture while also making sure that my concealer and eye makeup stay on all day long. My NYX Plump It Up Lip Plumper. It gives a really nice plumping effect makes my lips look nice and juicy while hydrating them. My Vichy Mineral 89 Serum and my Drunk Elephant D Bronzy Anti-Pollution Drops. One pump of each. I'm going to mix them together on my hand. I did self tan the day before filming this video so I do want to give a little bit of color to my face. This way my face matches my body. Just know that these Drunk Elephant Drops, you need to take your time blending them in. They can leave your face a little streaky, leave your face a little bit blotchy. So just make sure that you're taking the time to really make sure it's blended in. But look, I match my body now. How nice. Glossier Brow Flick. It definitely has a learning curve, but I took my time to really learn product. It just makes my brows look naturally fluffy and it doesn't look like I'm wearing any brow product. Try it out. Practice, 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 and you will get your brows to look like the microbladed deliciousness that my brows look in this video. Koki Be Bright. How much I loved you this year. And I'm just going to use this as a primer for my eyeshadow. This is a really nice job of not clinging to my dry textured eyelid skin, which I already mentioned. Narcissist Wand palette. I'm so happy that this came back. This is a limited edition palette. Get your hands on it while you can. I brought this on every trip that Mike and I went on in 2019. The lightest shade and I'm going to take that on a fluffy brush brown shade. I'm going to take that with a pencil brush and I'm just going to place that into the crease to start really adding some definition to the eyes. And I'm just going to keep that in the crease and the outer third of the eye. I'm going to keep the inner portion of my lid pretty bare because I like to leave it light and it, it just makes my eyes look bigger. So I'm just stamping that shade where I need it before going in with a blending brush and just blending it out. These NARS shades are very pigmented, but very blendable, very easy to blend out and they don't blend into nothing. They still keep their pigment. The Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayon. This one is in the shade Earthquake, but any of the shades are stunning, amazing. And I'm gonna apply this with a brush. This was also my favorite uh, liner brush. It's a lip brush from Amazon, but I use it as liner. 
eyeliner brush. I will link this down below as well. This is the creamiest eyeliner you will ever find. Smokes out beautifully. Honestly, there is no other eyeliner out there like this. I've tried so many. My go-to and I own this eyeliner in like six different shades. Like that's how amazing it is. Darkest brown shade on a flat brush. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that over the gel liner. The Marc Jacobs liners are so creamy that they will move. Setting them with an eyeshadow will help to ensure that it doesn't move to the crease, which I have a lot of folds in my eyes, so that's important to me. Going into that matte reddish shade, I'm gonna just add a little bit of warmth to the outer crease, stamping it to the outer third and then bringing it on in before going in with a blending brush, as I always do, to just really blend all of those shades together, make it look a little bit more natural, and just like, look how that blends out. It's just, it's unbelievable. Beautiful light pink glittery shade. I'm gonna put that in the inner third of my eye and then bring it up into the crease to really make my eyes look bigger, more doe-eyed, more awake. And then to just bump it up a notch, I'm gonna use my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray to dampen my brush and then go back in with that shade to just give it more of a pop, make those glitters shine and make it look just brighter. Metallic shade, I'm gonna apply that with my finger and I'm gonna keep this to the middle of my eye to just bring any light that hits me to the center of my eye to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. I'm just using patting, stamping, pressing motions. Reddish metallic shade on a flat little brush, a detailing brush, and I'm just gonna put this like right above the wing. I just felt like I needed a little bit more color on that outer third. I need to deepen it up to create more of a cat eye effect, getting as much pigment on there as I want before then going in and blending it out to really make it one with the eyes. As you can see right now, it's kind of choppy, kind of like a stark line. You can see where it stops and where it ends, but we're gonna blend that out so that you can't see that anymore. So here we go, blending, blending, and it literally blends out in like 10 seconds. Pinky metallic shade, and I'm just gonna put that right at the beginning of the wing. I just wanted to blend it out, put a little bit of shimmer in there. This way, it looked like it belonged more with the eye. Just blend it out a little bit more. Dark brown and just deepen up the wing one more time. As you can see, I'm a little pissed because I went into that one side with a little bit too much pigment, but don't worry because we're just gonna blend it out. Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. I'm gonna wrap them around my fingers and just clean up underneath the eyes. Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. If you have any pores, you know those little holes in your face that really show up when you put makeup on over because mine definitely do. This will help fill them, smooth them out and make your skin just look flawless. Yensa Tone Up Primer Essential Glow. I'm putting this wherever I need a little extra hydration. This does give like a blurring effect and I'm gonna really focus that on the highest points of my cheeks to really give some more glow when I do go ahead and put some highlight on eventually. Putting this basically wherever I didn't put the Tarte Clean Slate. Back in with my Koki concealer. I'm using this to conceal and highlight sections of my face to bring them forward. And then going in with my favorite sponge of 2019, Eco Tools. This is the mini sponge. This comes in a set with a big sponge and a little sponge, but I prefer the little sponge because I have a small face, so it really helps me get in there, get into those nooks and crannies without messing up my eyes because clearly I did the eyes first. My NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. What did you think I was going to use? This is my favorite foundation. I'm just using my It Cosmetics Complexion Perfection Brush to just stamp that, press that into the skin before then going in with that Eco Tool sponge again to help further blend out and take away any excess foundation that my face doesn't necessarily need. Claps and snaps to my Ardell Glam Touring because you are amazing and you were the MVP of 2019. Absolutely beautiful amazing blends out like a dream and the shade just is so amazing for me it's so good if you have a similar complexion to me buy this it is affordable it is amazing and a little goes a very long way i've had this the entire year of 2019 and it's still going strong i just don't use the highlight side the price is worth it for the contour it's so cheap it's so amazing it's amazing. You guys know I'm a little high made when it comes to powder, so I had to pick two. So first I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm just going to dust that underneath the eyes and anywhere where I need to set my face. So I'm just laying down a light dusting of this before going in and baking with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is the best powder to bake with. However, I do like to put the Veil Translucent Setting Powder on first because that is a pretty hydrating powder. As funny as that sounds, it's the most hydrating powder I've ever used. So if I put a layer of that first 
and let that sink into my skin and then go in with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and bake with that. The veil kind of helps to ensure that those dry patches don't adhere to the Laura Mercier powder. I really hope that that makes sense. And now, hello, BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer and Golden Gal. My go-to, love it. This is the best shade for my complexion. I love it so much. And I'm just gonna stamp this with a brush over all the places that I contoured my face just to help chisel the face a little bit further, bring a little bit of warmth to my complexion. This is a really great matte bronzer. There's not any shimmer to it, but it does leave the skin like a satin finish. It's not drying, it doesn't look flat, it's not orange. It's great for bronzing, for contouring, it's just like such a great affordable bronzer and no matter how many high-end bronzers I've purchased, this is by far the best. Now I'm just gonna dust off the bake, the same brush that I used to put down the Hourglass Veil powder. And then of course my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Add a little hydration to the face. My Il Maquillage Icon Mascara because it gives the wispiest, longest, most beautiful lashes and really showed me that I didn't need to wear falsies in 2019 as long as I had this guy in my arsenal. Oh, it's amazing. Look, look, feeling myself. Beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke out the lower lash line because your girl loves a smoked out lash line. Does wonders for my eyes, makes them pop, brings that drama, elongate that eye and feed into that feline cat eye effect. I'm gonna grab some of that red, keep that to the outer third of the eye before bringing it into the inner corner. Blending it down, blending it out. Beautiful pink shimmer and put that on the inner corner on the lower lash line. Obviously I had to mention my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Love this, especially for the lower lash line. I'm gonna take off any of the excess lip products on my list before going in with my Koki Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Dusty Rose. Oh my God, this is like the best color. This is the best formula. It's so creamy and you don't need a sharpener. Great texture and you guys know I'm really funny and fussy with my lip liner formulas. Maybelline Blushing Beige, you knew this was coming. I'm gonna stamp this in the center of my lips and then stamp it out with my fingers to help disperse the shade. This is the best nude. This was my go-to nude for 2019. It's just, it's just so beautiful and gives so much depth and dimension to my lips. I have a lot of lip glosses, so this was a little hard, but I had to choose the Estate Lip Icing in the shade Drip. Beautiful texture, has a lot of really nice sparkle, makes my lips look plump, but it's not too thick, it's not too runny, it stays in place, and it's super hydrating. Sorry, this is discontinued, I can't help it, this is my favorite, the Anastasia M Resi Highlighter. I'm just gonna add this to the highest points of my cheeks using my favorite highlighter brush. This is an SL Miss Glam brush. I will list this brush as well as the other brushes and sponges down below. Oh, I never knew I could love a clear brow gel as much as I love the Hourglass Arch Brow Gel. This is just a clear brow gel. It does a beautiful job of keeping my brows in place all day, lifted, awake, and it just makes me look like just put together. Oh, look at that. Oh, and this is the finished makeup look. I absolutely love how this came out. I love a smoked liner. I love a juicy lip. And I think overall this really summarizes what my 2019 was made of, the techniques that I worked on specifically with liner and just making my eyes bigger and more symmetrical. I feel like symmetry was something that I really worked on and strive to be better at in 2019. So overall, I'm really happy with how this came out. I hope that you guys liked it and let me know if some of your favorite 2019 products were the same as mine. I'm sure you guys were able to guess the majority of the products that I loved on so much because it was very clear. I use them a lot and I just, I like quality things that I know are going to work. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. Let me know what were some of your favorite beauty picks in 2019. Let me know down below. I would love to check them out. Happy New Year, happy 2020. And let's see what this new year has in store for all of us. I feel like it's gonna be a good one for me and you. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.